Good evening, welcome to Springfield. Just over three months ago, the Bulls beat Red Hill, the Lobster 6 0 in the last league game of the 22 23 season tonight. The first friendly, the bagpipe is playing. The Stenhouse Muir FC from Scottish Division 2 are the visitors this evening in a pretty eagerly anticipated fixture to see how the Bulls fare against pretty much top flight opposition in Stenhouse Muir. Steny as they're known and the Warriors sit at level four in the football pyramid. The Bulls, of course, in the ninth level. So a stern test perhaps this evening of their credentials as they go into this 23-24 season looking to escape from step five and into step four. Uh, what have we in store? Pretty warm summer's evening here. Decent crowd in. Well, the bagpipes have stopped. Beanie has been and gone as well. And the referee just makes his final checks before we get off this season to a flyer. Let's hope for the Bulls. Harry Walker, final check of that watch. And we're underway here. Where well, Reed is there, so is Shields. Well, shot comes in, good save though by Van der Vliet. First time he's been t tested in this first half and reacts well with a good save down to his left hand side. Gets a left paw on it. It's coming up to about 10 minutes gone in this first half. Still no goals here at Springfield. Of course, the home of club football. Good chest there by Kirkpatrick. Shields with a shot from distance. Oh, well, bit of a challenge coming in there. Probably just did enough just to put off the shot. Ooh, heavy challenge, but it's fallen to Mavalo. Johnny Lecay now, will he take the shot edge of the box? Does so. Well, easy save, comfortable for Darren Jameson in the end, but first shot on target from Johnny Lecay from his left foot. Chance now. Here's the break here, coming now. Stan Asmur into the box. Well, looking for Yates again. It's fallen far post, crossed in. Cleared by Kerry again. And here comes Taylor. Well, there's a bit of pace about him. Here he comes into the box, squares it. Is there anybody there? Yes, there is. Oh, and it's in. Well, it is Matty Yates, and it just looks like it comes off one of the Bulls defenders. Van der Vliet with no chance, and a goal really out of nothing here for Stenhouse Muir. Just a bit of pace from Taylor down that right-hand side. Bursts into the box, managed to square it, and in the middle is Matty Yates, who somehow scrambles home the first goal of this game just 17 minutes gone in this first half and perhaps just a little bit of fortunate but just maybe that extra bit of quality that extra bit of pace has made the difference here to the scoreline looks like Shields and Yates are the front two certainly seen Yates already and Shields a bit more now and another ball coming into the middle nice touch there first time shot comes in hits the bar and bounces out Kerry clears and again oh, another bit of a real threat coming there Just time for the balls to take maybe just a bit of a breather here Nafka plays a loose ball giving it away edge of the box then helps me men there ball falls and the shot comes in and well it's wide of the left hand post Kirkpatrick trying to bend it into that bottom corner but just can't get it on target much of relief of the balls again good flick on this time now it's Yates again Campbell for company Yates going into the box Yates looking again on the right foot takes a shot well it's a good save in the end by Van der Vliet who just gets fingertips on that that looked like it was dipping and may well have just crept under the crossbar but Van der Vliet reacts quickest but again Stenhouse Muir able to knock it forward La Rouge tail does well and now Stenhouse Muir again Good flick on there by Brown. Chance baby coming here and it's going to fall to Yates and he puts it away in the end. A simple finish for Matty Yates, his second of the game. Senhaus Muir's second of the game, just over half an hour gone and it was pretty simple football in the end, the way they knock it around, create the chance, open the space up and Yates just puts it into the bottom corner of the net. And it's just that extra bit of pace. You can see the way they break, the calm on the ball and the ball's no answer. Go for Stenny, number 10, Matty Yates. Van der Vliet will go long, and he does. Well, it's a bit of a chance. It bounces, and now it's false. 
headed on. Oh, saved at the near post by Jameson. Not in the end convincing particularly, but maybe that's another option here. The route one ball from play that ball and it nearly fell fortuitously for the balls to get one back. And there can't be much left in this first half, Mr. Walker. Let's have a look at his watch. Is there another chance here for Stenhousemuir to get a third before the break? Brown now plays it into Shields. Shields now, will he get the shot off? He does. It's parried away by Van der Vliet and then cleared up by Campbell. Gets it out to the far side. And there was again another threat. This time it was Kirkpatrick was just hanging there waiting for that ball to fall to him. And here they come again. Brown now. Brown takes onto his left foot. Will he get the shot in? Well, he's been run wide. Taylor will go across. Going to keep it in, quickly across this Carre and then still going, Taylor still going, shot saved by Pierce Rocha, the near post does well there, stands strong. Substitution for Here they come again, squares it in the middle, shot comes in, well easy goal in the end, and a third for Stenhousemuir. Well, Yates has gone with the hat trick. They say it is Yates, so not like it was number 11 Brown, but it's gone to Yates. He's got his third. Senas Muir just fashioning that out of nothing. Go for Senas Muir. The hat trick, number 10, Matty Yates. It's not really a lot of pressure coming. Mavado pretty isolated down the middle there. There's Giles is trying to get for Watson, cuts it out now, plays it in. Now Mavalo's got a chance. Here it comes to Baker. Baker squares it. Can he get it to Miguel Cavalli? Does good save there. Well, Cavalli doesn't waste time. He's got the ball back as well. First time shot coming in. And Lyle has to make a save. On is Harry Scott. A chance for him, perhaps, this season. The departure of Samuel Henia Kamau to Swansea. Will it give him a chance to break through? Looks like an obvious replacement down that left-hand side. Seeing what he can do as well, at certainly under 18 level. Maybe a chance for him to shine in 23-4. Now, here he goes. First chance, doing well. In he goes, going to take on. Well, he does. He takes on Buchanan. Buchanan just has to do enough to get across there. And already Scott, and you can see the pace of the youngsters. We've seen that last season at under 18 level with the Cavallio and Scott and Vieira for the Bulls and now Cavallio and Scott for the first team. Curtis has to go back to Roche and Sutcliffe. And again the press is on from Steny. Oh it's given away now, chance maybe for a fourth, the shot comes in and it is! It's easily finished in the end, it's too comfortable for Jordan Kirkpatrick. He's on his own, he takes his time, picks his spot in the end, and he makes it 4-0 to Stenhouse Muir. Very comfortable finish for him. And yeah, a little bit of pressure coming. Oh, done well, Watson now. Watson to Scott, Scott to Watson. Can Watson score? Oh, he hits it straight at Lyle. Either side, you feel, would have been a goal and it would have been a deserved one. He created the opportunity there, Luke Watson. Played the one-two, got the ball back, and it just needed to find a little bit of space to hit it either side of Lyle, and it would have been 4-1, and in the end, at the keeper. Again, the quick ball forward, and Yates and Brown combining again. Brown now into the box. Brown still going. Will he take the shot? He tries to square it. Kerry is there again. Well, captain, fantastic. He certainly is, and he's across again and stops what looked like could easily have been a fifth there. Oh, and now O'Reilly and, well, well, there's a coming together here. Well, it looks like Roche won the ball there, but he, he also took a piece of O'Reilly and he's gonna pick up a card which not far distant in color from his goalkeeping top. So it's like a yellow card has been handed out the first of this match to Pierce Roche. Looks like Kirkpatrick is gonna go and take this. And there's a five man wall here. Sutcliffe one end, Watson the other, in it comes, shot comes low, good save by Roche, saw it all the way, two-handed, punches it out, good goalkeeping, here they come again, flicked off, headed clear by Curtis, Stenhousemuir still come again, Wedderburn with the shot, another good save by Pierce Roche, and then a re 
Well, helped out in the end there by Curtis, so the ball just bounces off him, but two pretty good saves there by Piers Roche in a matter of seconds. And now on the far side, Kere, now Cavallio. We're going to go past Berry, he does, he's gone past Berry, he's gone past another, he goes past Jameson. He's, oh, Jameson just does enough to get back, but Cavallio, they're ghosting past three of the Stenhouse Mears players as if they were not there at all. And it comes this time to Carr. Still keeps it, does well. Bruce Tail plays it inside now. Carr again, can he get it through? He does, save! Follow up by Watson, he gets it, he does! Lou Watson, well, what a good result for him in the end. He starts it off, he was saying play the simple ball, he carries on with his run and when it does fall to him, Luke Watson is on hand and he puts it into the bottom left-hand corner, the right as you look at it here and they do get something out of this game. The Bulls have got on the score sheet, it's your number eight for the Bulls, Luke Watson. Well, that is the final action here at Springfield Stadium. Jersey Bulls and Stenhouse Muir, the final score. Jersey Bulls won a goal in the last seconds of the game, coming from Luke Watson. Goals, though, from Matt Yates in the first half, 16 and 30, and one in the second for his hat trick on 51, and then Kirkpatrick on 63. Man of the match, the player of the match here, without doubt, is Matty Yates. But some really good contributions from all the Bulls players here today. Miguel Cavallio in the second hand, Luke Campbell in the first half, Kerry, of course, as always, and some good goalkeeping from Piers Roche. Couldn't keep out all the shots, but made some good saves anywhere. Well, it's been an entertaining game. It sets the bar and the standard of what the Bulls will need to look to achieve in the 23-24 season. Bulls look pretty tired, but they have run hard. They have not left anything out there on that pitch tonight. It isn't the result they would have loved to have had, but they played against a side that have got pace. They are a professional outfit. The Bulls can be proud. So can all the management team and the players of the performance tonight here at Springfield. The crowd are applauding off the Bulls and the Warriors. That's it until next Saturday when it's sitting born for the Bulls away in the FA Cup. We hope you've enjoyed watching. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. And we'll see you next time.